want to get a bikini body like mine and you also want to keep all your chakras in check, you can do that in four easy moves with my Kundalini fitness workout. So let's get into it. Let's start with the warm up. All right. So um, now that we're warmed up, let's go ahead and start. But today's practice is something that I learned from Barbara, from Santa Barbara. She's a yoga instructor. She's at the, um, the Whole Foods. This practice is called Mother Earth, Father Wheat. And our first move is called the Inverted Reach Pigeon. Remember to squeeze your buttocks and squeeze the hole. What you just did was you just cleared 17 chakras in your pelvic floor. And also you're gonna a good amount of fiber is in here, so you know, it's just gonna help you clear your butt chakras. Okay, the third move is called the Bikini Dairy Tree Pose. There's a lot of social responsibility in this move because I have a decision to make. Am I gonna get the cow's milk or am I gonna get oat milk? Picking this oat milk really cleared my conscience and my, uh, my oat chakras. My fourth and final move is the Upward Beach Cobra Body Pose. You know, now that I remember, Barbara from Santa Barbara, she was selling peanut butter cookies at the fair. She wasn't a yoga instructor at all. Well, that's the end of our practice. Now your aura is uh, well in tune with your maximum yoga and your chakras are all in line. Now you got a, a rocking body and <laughs> you're on your way to bone town. I know what you're thinking, Jerry. I've done every cardio routine that there is and they all suck. That's true, they all do. That's why the only routine that I do is this routine, ancient Egyptian Zumba. Zumra, as it's called in ancient Egyptian, and it's been done all around the world. It goes all the way back to even when the ancient, the ancient Egyptians were around. So it's, it's got all that going for it. Today's exercise is called the veneration of Nefertiti. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're wearing the uh, Toth or the traditional Toth or T shirt. And personally, I like to wear socks because I don't want my feet to get as cold as Isis. The first thing you want to do is get inside your sarcophagus bed. <laughs> we call it sarcophagus in ancient Egyptian and you want to get in, in, in a horizontal fashion. Horizontal comes from the word horizon, which derives from Horus who was the ancient Egyptian god and who would rise up from the dawn and bring donuts. So for maximum results, you might want to add weight. And for that, you can use a, um, a cover. Okay, so once you're secured and reach REM sleep, you want to want to do the next maneuver is clench your covers. You're going to want to move back and forth. Usually as violently as possible. Basically, the workouts take six to eight hours to complete. You keep that going until your alarm goes off or until, or until your organs end up in a jar. But this is something that you want to make sure that you do when the cats are around because the cats are good luck or bad luck. I don't know. Either way, you're in great shape. Remember to walk in the Valley of the Kings. If you are to walk in the Valley of the Kings, you must first bow to mortality. Also, according to Sesame Street, you have to keep your heart floating like a feather. So farewell. Or should I say, Pharaoh?